Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, and today I will show you how we can capture a screenshot on this device. So, um, before I actually get to the capturing, I'm going to mention that there's a couple different ways of going about it. You can either use the buttons or you can use the pencil. Uh, whatever is simplest, simpler to you, that's what you probably want to utilize. I'm going to be showing both of the methods. Now, to get started, uh, first you will want to open up the content that you wish to capture. Make sure that it is just visible on your screen right now. And once, once that's the case, uh, the first way you can capture your screenshot is by holding the power button and a volume down. So, oh, let's try that again. Actually, I'm going to just press it. Yep. So just a press, not a hold, actually. And you get this pop-up with uh, the edit, uh, share, and what was the last option? Let's do that once more and share option. So edit, oh, edit, tag, and share, there we go. And you have also that T, which allows you to detect text that is on the image, which obviously would include anything like this, the Play Store, naming store, and so on, along with the time and everything else here. So um, that's one way. The other way, like I said, with the pen, I can click on this little pop-up. Uh, you might have it somewhere along the border, somewhere else. Uh, depending on where you just dragged it but once you see it just click on it and this will bring up this uh, window right here and we want to select the smart select right nope so once you select the area actually we do have the option to this one yep so we do have to click on that download option just showing that once more so every time you use any of these, you do have to utilize the little download option, the save uh, that you have right here. Let's see if I can get rid of this without, oh, yep, there it is. We can discard it. So we have uh, the screen right, where was it? Smart select, there we go. So this allows you to just basically select the area that you want to capture. Now this is done in a kind of a box format. There should also be a way to do it without a box, but with more options. Let's see if I can find it quickly. It looks like I can't, unless it just got swapped with the Smart Select. Uh, in any case, that's the two different ways uh, that you can capture the screenshot. And once you have done so, uh, to view them, you can just navigate to your gallery application. And in the gallery, the simplest way uh, to locate your screenshots will be to just navigate to the album section and select your screenshot album. So just to show this right here, you can see I have the album selected and screenshots. They, I believe, do appear yep, in pictures. But if you're trying to find a specific screenshot down the line, obviously you probably have a bunch of crap visible right here. So the simplest way to do it will be, like I mentioned before, to navigate to the screenshots album where you will only have screenshots visible. And here are the uh, couple screenshots that I've captured on the video. So there we go. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.